Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and welcome to another episode of what I'm playing. For episode 6, I decided we should play Civilization 6 because I've been playing that game a lot lately, and it's been quite addictive, as one might expect. Now, if anybody's not familiar with the Civilization series, it is basically a series that has, for almost 30 years, allowed you to play as a country of various types throughout history you know whether it's like the roman empire or the greeks or the chinese america and so on and uh you get to basically advance your civilization from the stone ages to modern day and beyond it's a really fun series and i enjoy this series a lot of i actually want to talk about my history with civilization a little bit because the very first civilization game i've ever played was Civilization 3 uh, back in 2002, I believe it was. And I started working at a uh, computer store, Office Max. I did stuff with computer sales and whatnot. And people recommended this game to me, of course, you know. It was kind of like, you know, Civilization 3 was, I guess, the hot one at that time. I don't know how long it had been out at that point, maybe a year or two. Maybe not even that, maybe it came out in 2002. I'm not sure, I probably should look that up sometime. But, uh, you know, I decided, yeah, it might be high time to check this series out. I know it got really hyped up back during Civilization 2, but I wasn't a computer gamer really as much at that time. I was uh, mainly on N64. I didn't have a PS1, so I couldn't even play that version. So I just kind of ignored it, you know. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and play through the turns here. I am playing a tiny map size with three opponents. Play it on just normal Prince difficulty. And, uh, gonna let my guys explore things out. It's a turn-based, uh, strategy game. So it's not real-time like you would get from, say, uh, Warcraft or whatever. You know, this game plays out in turns. But it can play out pretty quickly, especially in this early part of the game. Where you don't really have much going on. During this early part, actually, I think that those guys might kick. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. They might kick my guy's ass. Because I'm just using Will Lowly Clubman here. And uh, we got Spears, which are basically the next thing over. So we're already getting out class and technology. That's that's fantastic. It'll tell us what the... Uh... Yeah, we'll lose that fight. So we don't want to do that. We're going to move over here. We'll, we'll get to them later. Once we get our monument built up. You want to get the monument so you can get culture. Because culture is how you spread your city borders. Which is those little outline squares right there. Or hexes, I guess. Um, that's what that is. And you want to get that expanded so that you can have your city and you know nation as a whole be more powerful as it goes on. And then I've got my single lonely clubman. That's going to be going around exploring the continent. Looking for any kind of resources that we might be able to utilize as far as establishing new cities and so forth. So it looks like we're going to get our uh, thing built here. Um, we got a barbarian. That's what the red stands for. So barbarians. Basically a NPC that runs a uh, country that isn't really competing in the civilization game. But they are still a nuisance you have to deal with. And they certainly can be harmful. So we'll deal with those barbarians very soon. I'm trying to figure out. I've got animal husbandry. Probably. Is that a. What is that? Cotton? I can press this here. Yeah, cotton. Okay. Cries irrigation. So yeah. I guess animal husbandry is not the most important right now. But if I did sailing, I can get the. Uh, yeah, let's do that. After all, I got a nice boost at the beginning for sailing, so we're going to check that out. Since this scout will be pretty easy for us to fight, that's where I'm going to send my clubmen over there to get, get them killed off. and You know, just in general, defend the civilization from enemy threats, foreign and domestic both. Because that sounds brilliant to me. Uh, let's see. So what do we want to build? So we can... Uh, Okay, we can't build anything else except for uh, characters right now. We're going to go ahead and build a builder. Because builders are very handy. 
they will be able to enhance these various resources, you know, so we can get more gold, more food, you know, all that stuff to help build up our civilization. So let our builder do that. Um, builders have changed quite a lot throughout the series. You definitely have to utilize them very well. Like when I played Civilization 3, there wasn't really a whole lot of stuff that was automated. You had to do things quite a lot. And they kind of automated them more as games went on. Although this one is different. It's actually a lot more on hands, kind of like Civ 3 was. But it's a lot more intuitive as well because it... Builders used to take several turns just to build a single thing. Now they can build things literally one turn. The downside with that, of course, is they only last a certain amount of time. Um, so a builder improved three tiles. Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea to go ahead and get uh, craftsmanship. Because once my builder gets built and I'll do that, I'll be able to get a boost. So you'll notice there's a uh, half circle on these things. And if you meet that objective, you'll get that half circle. I don't think I'm going to discover a second continent right away. So we'll try that. Uh, we get to sign our city policies. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, might as well. And what do we want to do here? Plus one faith and gold in the capital or plus one production in all cities. We'll do that. I'm a very huge fan of production because that speeds up how fast you develop uh, new units, new buildings, and so on. It's very neat. Definitely what I recommend doing. If only I could find the stupid barbarians. I want to kill the barbarians. <laughs> okay. Oh, looks like uh, someone found us here. Who we got here? Sar Peter. Okay. Yeah, let's... Uh, we'll, we'll say hello to you. Where did... Okay, your knowledge of writing is advanced. Okay, great. Um, now, where's this guy at? I don't see his unit anywhere. He must be using a scout or something so he can see slightly farther than me. That could be what's going on there. He might have chose to build a scout right away. We'll build the scout probably after the builder. Most likely. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Oh, there he is. He came from the north. Yeah, he does have a scout. For some reason, I start with a clubman, but he had a scout at the beginning. I'm not sure if that's specific to his sieve or what. We got a friendly tribe there. Uh, we're gonna definitely take those people over, I think. We're gonna bring them into the way of the German civilization. That's what we've got is the Germans. Uh, let's see, I can build a granary if I do pottery. That's very useful. So we'll do that next. Okay. So, Civilization is, uh, we've already got 16 turns, bear in mind, with the short amount of time we've played so far. The very beginning is very quick, and so there's definitely, um, there's definitely something to keep in mind there. You know, it's a lot faster pace in the beginning, but when you get to the closer to the end game, you've got several cities, you've got wars going on, you've got a lot of things to micromanage at that phase of the game. So it can go by pretty quickly. Um, when you do that. So, okay. I'm already halfway through there. I don't think they'll even get uh, three improvements in time. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and build our mine. I'll have them build farms out just to do that, of course. We definitely will consider a settler once we get to about five or six population, I think. And I don't want to build a settler immediately. We need to kind of explore and see where our next best uh, place will go. So we're definitely going to get a scout. Keeping in mind, of course, that uh, Russia or whoever, they're on the... You know, they're on the top. This game does fortunately have um, the ability to play on the touchscreen on the Switch. That's what I'm playing on as a Switch, obviously. And so if you like touchscreen gameplay, that's really cool. Um, the touchscreen utilization is neat. I mean, this is pretty much the iPad version of the game. Uh, believe it or not, they have this on the iPad, uh, which is pretty nice. Let's go ahead and build a mine there. And then we'll do our cotton. Reconnaissance units like scouts are unique in that... Yeah, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't. But that means our uh, scout is finished now. Um, 
Let's go ahead and do a slinger. I think that'd be good to do. Or should we do a galley? We can get some ocean exploration going here. What's the... Um, yeah, let's just do a slinger. Okay. Build our mine there. Let our scout just automate exploration there. Uh, scouts are very useful. They move a little bit quicker than regular units, and they uh, have a further sight range, too. So no you can map out the map more quickly with them. Okay. So let's just see what uh, techs I've got now. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I think, I don't know, what's, what's going to be most useful right now? Because I don't really have any animal stuff, but I can build camps and pastures. What does the little star do, though? I'm not really sure how to look at that. Okay. Okay, it leads to archery. Hmm. Yeah, let's get, let's get our going on riding early. I've got the boost, after all. Maybe... With animal husbandry, I can get another boost or something. Okay. Wait, can I not... Can I not build the improvement for that yet? Guess not. We'll build a farm then. Okay. I probably should have chose the other Still one. Because I'm going to get... Yeah, because I got the boost right away. So I kind of wasted that opportunity. Okay, let's see what we got here. Build any specialty district. That probably won't be a right, a right away, so let's go ahead and do trade. You want to be able to trade. That's uh, very handy to do. So we'll go ahead and go down here. For now, we'll just kind of do some reconnaissance. We're going to explore the areas and whatnot. See what, it, see what we've got around us here. But I might send that slinger down there. We'll take out that barbarian encampment. Because I don't want to mess with them barbarians for very much. But this one up here, I think, was closer to us. Where was that at? It doesn't show it on the map there. But yeah, there was one up there. So I'm going to see if I can get them to... Yeah, that... one thing that I liked about uh, some of the other games is that you were able to kind of control the movement in between turns kind of you can kind of like Catherine. direct them to go a certain way uh, i am playing on a pangaea continent by the way so uh, i'll actually be able to find things pretty quickly so actually we found a new civilization right here that's the french we can go ahead and set up a delegation uh yeah let's do that why not it's good to set up a delegation you kind of will have a little more stuff going on so it looks like they got in a little bit of a fight there they probably fought yeah oh they got a, a slinger unit that's probably gonna wipe them out that's gonna be nice that'd be one less enemy unit for us to worry about uh we got a granary we can build now i think yeah i think we'll go ahead and do that okay that'll increase our food and housing get our slinger up there I need to cancel this guy's action. I want to kind of manually control him here. For a second here. Nope, okay. Hopefully he won't want to fight with us. I need to find the other civilization here. Oh wait, is that our unit that they're attacking? Yes it is, you bastard. Can we, yeah we can hurt him pretty good though. Let's do it. It's what you get for fighting us, little punk. <laughs> it's what you get. Okay, we've got a scout here. Let's attack them. That's what you get for approaching our lands, you evil swine. You're not allowed to do that. Okay. We'll get our scout to come in from behind when he tries to retreat, and he'll they'll finish them off. That'll be the plan. Or, well, no, they're kind of doing things that way instead. Not exactly what I intended there, but, uh, yeah. Now, one thing you'll notice up on the upper right-hand side of the screen, we actually have a timer that tells us uh, what time it is. This is the real time, 3.25 p.m. Central Time. Right to the apples. Oh, a natural wonder. Sure. Okay. All ashes. That might be an ideal area to uh, put... 
our next city. Possibly. That could be a good spot. But, I don't know what else we've got over there. Okay, these will give you a little um, clues on things going on. You know, kind of remind you of what's, what's up in this game. Uh, let's see here. They only have one attack range. That sucks. Let's get them back in the city. They can defend the city if the barbarians happen to come by. Dang, man. They're, the barbarians are freaking vicious this early in the match. You have to really be uh, steadfast on defending yourself here. Oh, that's right, the freaking cannon. I can't go that way. One thing I wish you could do is undo things, which I can understand, like, if you had the fog of war and whatnot, that's not going to really be the most feasible thing to do, but it would be really nice if they had that as an option. Let's go ahead and send our scout in there. Okay. And we'll have these guys attack the clubmen. Fortunately, since they're ranged, you're not going to face any penalty or damage by doing so. I'm just hoping those guys don't try to take out my uh, freaking city so early in the game. You know, I mean, it literally just got started here. Writing means okay. We have recently gained advanced knowledge in city. So we can build a district now. That's good. We'll go ahead and move here. Hopefully, there's not a freaking uh, barbarian camp right here. I'd like to have one safe route. Your quarry in Akin has been pillaged, you bastards. You bastards. Guess we're going to build another worker once uh, we get things going here. What does astrology do for us? Okay, astrology will be good if we want to start a religious uh, segment here. So that, that'll be good. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. One thing you have to keep in mind with the Switch version, the menu buttons are done with the D-pad and then... Your left stick out as like a mouse cursor, so it takes a little bit of getting used to. I'm not going to lie, but uh, we'll go ahead and fortify until healed. Let's see what the uh, barbarians decide to do here. They're going to put a good hurting on my uh, scouts there, but fortunately they got a promotion, which will allow us to heal and uh, get an upgrade of some kind. All right. But do I want to send the scouts in? What's the prognosis here? So the scout should survive, but be badly wounded. Or do I want to use my promotion? Um, let's see here. Faster and... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to just use our promotion. We'll let the... Uh, we'll let the slingers finish them off instead. There we go. So there's the wisest move to make here. And then we can send all three of them up to take out the Barbarian Encampment. That'll be the best move for us. Except, no, I can't really do that right away. Let's look at our score rankings here. This will give us an idea of what we're at versus everybody else. So I'm actually doing slightly worse than Peter, which was the original civilization that met us. That's not good. We don't want to do worse. We want to do better. We're going to send our scout over here so we can find that one barbarian encampment again. Because I know I saw one up there earlier. Do our promotion. Let's see. Range strength versus land units. That sounds pretty good. Okay. Can these guys move at all? There we go. I was wondering. I'm just going to, uh, yes, yeah, send them again. Get our guys, get our forces up there ready to attack this uh, spot whenever they are ready. Where is that freaking barbarian encampment? Did somebody else take him out? Hmm. Okay, let's do our builder again. You can do it, Bob. Bob the builder. <laughs> Okay, I wonder what they're uh, thinking there. What their plan is. Wait, was that civilization more over here, maybe? 
I could have swore it was north of us. Maybe it wasn't. Yeah, I'm not seeing it anywhere. What is that supposed to be? Spice? Coffee, okay. Requires irrigation, as well animal husbandry. That'll probably be the next technology we'll do is animal husbandry since we've got a decent source of cows or whatever now with their cow farting causing global warming on this planet already. Every nation lives <laughs> by uh, I kid though, I kid. Um, let's see. Do I want to do the production? Yeah, let's see here. We're gonna do that. I mean, the double recon bonus, that's not very useful. Okay. Okay, we've got an extra trader out, but I don't have anybody to trade with. Well, actually I can trade with Paris right now. I've got that city I can trade with, so I'll probably consider building a trader. A trader to the cause. Okay, what do we want to do here? Mysticism. Yeah, let's do that. Is that the, um... Hmm. I don't think so. Yeah. Since we found a new continent, pretty sure I set it on Pangaea. I shouldn't be finding new continents. Unless Pangaea just means like one big continent with maybe like I little ones or something astrology. possibly. But it's supposed to be just one landmass. I want to keep things simple uh, with this particular run. You know, just keep things a little bit quicker. Because uh, one thing to keep in mind with the Civilization games, they take a while to play sometimes. Yeah, let's go ahead and do uh, Animal Husbandry. Get that out of the way. Can they not move? I guess we'll fortify him for now. Wait, is there... Yeah, there's a freaking barbarian already. Okay. But I don't think the scouts actually attack cities. I might be wrong. But I need to send these guys over here because... They could be trouble. My builder won't be able to do anything while uh, they're hanging out. Let's go ahead and we'll just have them fortify. Fortifying will let you heal your unit. If they're damaged at all. So can he move here without losing his movement point? No, but that will give the builders some protection. That they can go ahead and rebuild that uh, farm or mine or whatever. Did these guys not have a promotion? I guess they will soon. Defense modifier minus two. That's not good, Sonny. We'll surround them on both sides here. Alright, so this guy is still trying to uh, escape. Let's finish him off. Kill that unit off. There we go. Fantastic. So... Uh, just to kind of wrap up some thoughts on the Civilization games. I've been a huge fan since Civilization 3, like I said. Uh, Civilization 4, I bought it like when it first came out. Civilization 5, same deal. You know, I really I really do dig these games a lot. They are fantastic to play. Um, highly recommended. Can I buy them with gold yet? No. But I probably will just do that with the Settler. I'll probably just buy them with gold. I'm not sure if I want to commit to trading just yet because I'd still have a huge problem uh, as far as the, uh, let's build a slinger. They're cheaper anyways. Um, I still have a huge problem as far as the barbarians. I definitely want to kind of clear the route a bit because I think barbarians can uh, attack your trading routes. I'm pretty sure. And that would just be a waste of a uh, trader entirely if I do that, so... Please? Oh, come on. Really? Okay, repair. That 
that just really sours the whole experience. The fact that he can move those two spots, he'll be able to pillage. Oh, wait, there's no improvement there. Never mind. Yeah, carry on. Move on there. <laughs> but Civilization VI, I kind of took a um, little bit of a miss with that initially. I didn't play it right away. Let's go ahead and kill this guy off here. Now we've got our units building up here. Fantastic. That's the way we do it here, people. Okay, let them fortify. Um, and it, it's really fun. It's really just a good time for anybody that likes, uh, you know, strategy games. I highly recommend it. I uh, wish the Switch version had online play. It seems like it's an option. Like, even in multiplayer, it seems like there's more than one option. But for some reason, you can't do multiplayer in this particular game, which is just really annoying. You can through local area network, which means if you have fellow friends with switches and you happen to be in close proximity to each other, you all can, uh, you know, play this game together. Let's go ahead and build a holy site. Let's get them... Let's get the blood of Jesus in our civilization or, or whatever religion if uh, Christianity is taken, right? <laughs> but uh, let's see, where do we want to build it here? And this improvement will be removed. Okay, well, let's just build it right there. That's a good spot for a holy site, I'd say. Right next to the marshes and the jungle and the mines. Perfect. That is perfect. Okay. But I want to thank you very much for tuning into another episode of what I'm playing. I am fun. Uh, just face. one more turn, as they say. Um, let's go ahead and wipe these guys out from the face of our civilization. You're gonna die, fool. There we go. <laughs> Took him out. And we're gonna find those barbarian encampments and take them out also. But uh, till then, down Phoenix out.